Kia ora. Welcome to my morning ramble, uh, 14th of July in the year 2022. Today is Thursday. It's the uh, last day of my work week coming up. Um, but that doesn't really mean that the work stops. Uh, it's just the day job. And uh, though that's busy enough as it is, uh, yeah, you know, life goes on. Um, I was going to talk about something else, but I've changed my mind because that's the point of the ramble. So I'm going to talk a little bit about age and in relation to, to homesteading. This is not going to be an ageist conversation. Um, I have an imminent birthday. I don't really celebrate birthdays, but anyway, it's a subject for a different, different time. But as I've said before, I'm coming up on the other side of the mid 50s. Um, Dawn is a say a lot, lot younger than I am. But um, none of this is really kind of important in the general scheme of things. Um, we're both pretty healthy and just getting on with it. So, one of the things that's kind of I've kind of noticed in among our, our homesteading community is is the relative youth of people, which is kind of kind of cool. It's kind of interesting, um, and that that generally tends to be I'm going to say the norm, at least among the group that, that we're at. And by relative youth, I mean you know, mid to late thirties kind of thing. Um, that's, that's a generalism um, so you know good decisions earlier in life and uh, getting on with it learning self-sufficiency and um, learning skills and and basically making you know sound decisions that uh, that I think for the most part will will carry those people forward um, well into retirement Unless something geopolitically bad happens, but you know, it's a conversation for another day. Um, so yeah, but I was thinking, you know, we, we've, or we being me mainly, but um, it's all about me, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, um, it's coming into homesteading or farming or whatever later in life. Um, and this is not our first rodeo. Um, you know, we've been on the property here since uh, 2014, and um, but really, it's you know after some experimentation over various years, trying to work out exactly what we wanted to do here in Ohio, at least. Um, it's probably only in the last well three to four years. I'm counting this year and that that we've we've kind of settled down on what we think our real homestead plans will look like. And to be honest, you know, we, we had decided that here was, was where we were going to be. Um, but our five acres is really just a little, sounds bizarre, it's a little too cosy with, with neighbours and stuff. So we're starting again. Um, we're starting with some experience under our belts, but I would not say that we are right, we're novices okay um, but when you're taking on a challenge like this later in life um, you don't have as many I'm gonna say quality years um, to kind of get it get it established and get it done so you're you're ability to make mistakes um, is more constrained you have to think about um, particularly when you get you know through through to oh, through into your 50s and those of you aren't here yet you've got some surprises coming up for you so maybe take this to heart and plan earlier um, you do need to think about physical limitations 
things that you used to be able to do even five years ago, 10 years ago. The mind is willing, but the flesh, shall we say, um, definitely has challenges. And, you know, you, you, you pay for that one way or another, whether it's a painful day in bed or a couple of days where you have to recover from strains and sprains and, and all that, all that good stuff. Um, and this is just reality. This is just how it is. So it means that, you know, we have to think smarter. Um, and it means that in our plans for our homestead, we also need to think along the lines of operating the homestead um, when, we're, when we're older. Um, because that's, you know, something you probably don't think about in your homestead designs. You know, when I get in, into my retirement years, 60s or late 60s or mid 60s or good on you if you retire earlier congratulations you won the uh, jackpot um how am i actually going to operate my homestead and so age is definitely a factor um and you can ignore it all you like but it, it, it's a thing okay um i don't dwell on it um but the there there are realities that that you just have to face and accept um so where does that fit into our designs honestly um it's a thing that, that kind of looms looms over our plans um for me at least um We'll be lucky because we'll have um, the kids basically, I don't say kids, they're young adults now, uh, but the kids basically will be moving down. So, <clears throat> you know, it's an opportunity for them to engage should they choose to do so, but they're under no no um, compulsion to do that. But ideally it'd be good for them to pick up and learn some, some skills because, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, when all is said and done, they're the ones who will, you know, inherit inherit the homestead and what they do with it after that you know i don't care i'll be pushing up dirt so it's kind of moot but 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 we do care because you know we, we want to leave them something positive um but in terms of you know designing uh you know we're not talking about you know ramps and extra rails on things and, and and all that sort of stuff it's just more the the uh, practicalities of designing your your homestead um as a as a running homestead farm you know handling livestock don't go taking on board huge livestock that at some point you just can't you just can't deal with it um you know if you're going to go piggies great but maybe go for some smaller breeds because ultimately they may be a little easier to handle um you know just just things like that gardens and gardening raised beds because you know the knees are not quite what they used to be and back is not what it used to be and you know all, all these sorts of things and you know i guess just thinking about it this is a ramble um you know this also applies to people who maybe you know have had work injuries and things as well you, you just have to do things or think things a little bit smarter um you know we like to think that that as we go we'll and i think this is the reality um it will definitely get get healthier um because we will be back to putting more of what we actually grow ourselves back into our diets and, and lifestyle um so there's really little little interference with, with outside stuff. But all that said, um, you know, the years tick by pretty quick. So you, you, I think you reach a tipping point um, where you, <laughs> sounds grim, you, you, have to, you have to face your own mortality or at least the prospect of it. Um, and you do have to build that into your plans. Um, now I have no, no great desires to drop dead tomorrow. Um, or anytime soon, really. Uh, but the, but the, you know, the reality of actually doing this is such that um, 
you know, we, we do have to make, make considerations for these things. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to add that as an extra, as an extra ramble and, and thought, um, you know, for anyone who may be listening to this, our friends and things who are, fall into the younger category, bless you, um, you know, um, yeah, this isn't a negative thing, this is, this is just life and, and growing up, um, but a lot of, a lot of homesteaders and farmers have established, um, that, that background, because, you know, even, um, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here, you know, some of the peers that, that we basically follow because we like what, what they've done, they've learned this through, you know, decades or even generations, um, or longer in, in many cases, because in farming it's been around for a very long time, but but homesteading in, in a modern sense or a cool sense or whatever um, is is still kind of relatively newish, and call it the YouTubish era, the vloggish era, I don't know. Um, social media era, um, you know, people are, are becoming more interested and, and there are mechanisms out there if people are, are interested, um, showing what others are doing and, you know, and you learn, you learn from that. Um, but, you know, we haven't been doing this for that long. Um, Dawn's definitely been interested in permaculture for quite some time and she's had a she's done courses and all that sort of stuff um it's just i guess maybe it's a little fear of the unknown creeping in um the um some of this is is maybe stemmed by a little navel gazing because we, we're kind of spinning wheels um and we're keen to just to get on with it but but things have to go at their own pace you can't you can't hurry up certain parts of the process because they're out of your control but anyway point I'm making is time is precious and 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 make the most of it um and as you get on with your homestead over the years you know maybe think about what changes you can make that will um lead into your retirement years in due course and you know all things being equal um, what you may want to be doing in those retirement years on your homestead or farm um, and even you know how you're gonna handle other tasks if you don't have others to help you um, so yeah thought of the day um, well I guess it kind of revolves into this you know look at what you're doing now by all means plan throw that crystal ball out and look at what you might be doing in say 10 20 years or close to retirement um, and right out of the gate um, see what alignments you can make that don't you know cost you a lot of money um, or don't require much in the way of um, additional support you know maybe just kind of mark those on the map just say this is a thing that I need to look at um, and these are some considerations and these are some changes that we may possibly have to make to our homestead or our farm or our life or whatever um, to accommodate that um, but just bear in mind that that's okay um, this is this is part of the part of the growing up thing apparently adulting 101 yeehaw um, all good okay well I hope you'll have a great day no rain today, so we shall see what today brings. Dawn has been hellaciously busy outside while I have been uh, pounding keys inside. And um, yeah, we'll just have another day and we'll see, see what happens. Hope you have a good one. Take care. Kia ora. Bye.